G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Yeah, there we go, great. That was on the nymph. I could see a, a little, he's very silvery this one, he might be a rainbow. I could see some darker shapes just out there. Yeah, he's got a bit more going in this one. And it just pays just to, uh, if you think, just throw it out there. Let's have a bit of a go. And uh, he's taken that nymph and liked it, which is good. And rainbows, they're obviously much fitter, stronger, stupider fish. Actually, I shouldn't say that, but I, I think they are. But they always, good runs. I mean, that's virtually into the backing now. And he's not even a big fish. He's probably only about three pound. So we're literally a meter off backing. So that's a, that's a reasonable sort of a, a run from a, from a fish, which is, a, oh, there he goes, which is good. Just pays to have that, uh, that nymph as well underneath that dry. Much more energetic, I think is a good way of describing these. And uh, with, you, you've probably seen there's no drag like a brim reel. So the drag, it does have a, like a set drag on it, but uh, it's essentially how fast I wind and take my hand off. And uh, as he got off. <coughs> oh. Yeah, well he's pulled the hook on that, but anyway, not to worry. But still good fun. A good run like that, ideal. So uh, yeah, we'll just find another one and show you what the the rainbows actually look like. But we've got the natural uh, um, drainage from the, the North Lake to the Southern Lake, and it literally comes off here and it will drop off. You'll be able to have a look at it in a sec, but it literally drops off. Quite often you'll have a lot of fish literally with their chins right on that drop off there because it'll go from like six inches you know down to 10 or 15 feet they'll just sit there and get everything that that you know comes across over that lip so it's worthwhile just drifting your fly a little bit over the top of it just with the natural current of the river and also just looking for dark shapes just sitting on that edge because more than likely they're going to be a fish There we go. It was just a couple of dark little uh, <laughs> little shapes, and that's a rainbow. And uh, yeah, <laughs> they're good, fantastic. Every fish is good. Browns are great. Rainbows are pretty good fun too. I just like to get away. Silver as anything. You'll see him once we. Well, hopefully we get this one in. But uh, much more silver, which is just their, I guess, their, their nature. There you go. So you're into the backing, and again, not even a big fish. But they'll spend a lot of time out in midwater out here, and uh, the coloration obviously works better for them. A good fish. not many that'll, that'll take you into the backing so when it does happen it's good most of the time the only time you see it's when you're loading it on but get a nice fish it's good
We're slowly getting a little bit of line, but uh, he seems quite happy out in that deeper water. And all you can do is just keep pressure on that rod. You want to bend that rod. He's got to fight against uh, the rod. And he'll eventually, when he's, he, when he's good and ready, he'll come back. It's taking you a while to get him, so uh, we'll get the rest of the day to catch him. say it all the time but I do like to keep that rod nice and high can just uh, keep his head out of bearing into weed or snags and, th and things like that well he could be yeah maybe he's a bit bigger than what I first thought you never know there's a bit of weed on that first fly too and that's one of the dangers of uh, fishing with two flies is that they can snag up on weed or something like that on the first fly, which is what he's done. So he's probably buried himself in some weed, but a good bit of tippets pulled through. And there we go. You can see all that weed on that line straight there, but into the net. And uh, that's amazing. You look at that size, that it'd only be a couple of pounds. Ring and wet, and he's lucky to be two pounds. So the power that these fish have got. Um, I think browns are, are much more cautious in the way they, they eat and the way they fight, whereas uh, rainbows just go off like a cut snake. Anyway, we'll get him out. I'll get this weed off, we'll get him out and give you a look at him. Stunning little fish with a huge red stripe. Uh, it just imitates and it doesn't probably stand out now, but that's much more silver than what the browns are and This huge uh, red on that and always the spots on the tail on a on a rainbow Whereas a brown doesn't so that's how you'll always tell the difference. Sometimes they can both look very silver So we'll get him back in and There's not too many uh, Rainbows throughout the South Island. They tend to only live in some lakes and rivers that flow in and out of those lakes. So uh, places where we fish a lot, the Matara, the Areti and that, don't hold any uh, rainbows at all. They tried introducing, just didn't work for whatever reason. But uh, here they certainly flourish as they do in the North Island. And they're great fish to catch as well, you know, so uh, they're terrific. So he's good to go. All right, plenty of life. That's fantastic on uh, the Royal Lakes. We've got browns and rainbows on nymphs and on dries. Put a bit of everything there. I've only just started. <laughs>